What up, what up, what up? This is your boy Bobby, and today we're going to make a Trenton tomato pie. We're going to start off by putting a tablespoon of sugar in this pizza sauce, followed by a half teaspoon of basil. Next is a tablespoon of oregano. You know I love oregano. And a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. I'm going to stir it all up. And I'm starting with uh, Stanislaus uh, Pizziola sauce. It's a, it's a pizza sauce that I really like. I thought it, the packaging looked stupid and I ignored it for years. That was my bad. But anyway, mix that up. Now I'm going to flour the surface. I'm going to use some dough. I made this with bouncer flour. It's like all Trumps. It's high gluten, high protein. And this was uh, cold fermenting for about 24 hours in the fridge. And I'm using my uh, New York Pizza Dough 2.0, which I still haven't done that video, but you can follow my New York Pizza Dough. It's very similar. So I'm trying to shape this into a circle. The uh, operative word being trying. It's just not working. I don't know if that's a par parallelogram, trapezoid. I don't know what that is, but I'm doing my best. So with the uh, Trenton tomato pie, you want it nice and flat. So to try to get it even flatter, you know what I'm going to do? Something I hate to do. I'm going to use a rolling pin. I probably should not have done it or I should have done things a little differently. As you will see, we're going to do a little foreshadowing like, oh no, what's around the bend? What is coming up? So here I continue in vain, shook the camera a little bit to try to get that circle and it's just not working. But oh well, there's a look at, see how this dough is sticking to the the counter right here. I'm trying to do a little hand stretch. Uh, I should have added more flour. I did it and it's going to cause problems for me. Problems that maybe I'll regret, maybe I won't. Okay, pepperoni's going on, half of it. And I cooked the pepperoni in the oven at 450 for, I don't know, five or six minutes. It uh, got the pepperoni crispy. And it got rid of a lot of uh, the oils, so it's a little bit leaner product now. Now I'm going to do half uh, pepperoni, half bacon. My wife likes bacon, uh, pepperoni bacon, which is why half of it's going to be that. And the other half's just going to be cheese, because I'm a, I'm a big fan of cheese pizza. I don't know why you want to ruin it by throwing it other stuff on. And the part of mozzarella today is being played by Wisconsin Brick Cheese. I ran out of mozzarella. I must have been shooting too many pizza videos. I ran out of mozzarella, ran out of provolone, and all I had was this brick cheese that I was going to use for a Detroit pizza. So guess which video got pushed to the back burner? Did you say Detroit style pizza? You would be correct. All right, just finishing it up there. And interestingly enough, you know, I don't measure this stuff out. I just get the cheese, put it on, break it up. And I actually used all the cheese I had on this. I believe it was about a half a pound of brick cheese is going on this bad boy. All right, so this is almost done. And, uh, and the... The surprise is coming up. Just bear with me for a little bit more. Okay, with the Trenton slash New Jersey tomato pie, the toppings and the cheese go on the bottom and sauce covers it up. I had never heard of a tomato pie until I started watching One Bite Pizza reviews with Stool Presidente Dave Portnoy. Interestingly enough, Portnoy's from Massachusetts. I'm from Massachusetts, and he um, he rated my favorite pizzeria in Revere, Bianchi's. He gave it uh, an 8.2. But anyway, that's where I learned about uh, tomato pie. So here, I, I think I'm just going to put cornmeal on the peel, get this bad boy on it, and then boom! 
train wreck right there. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that with the recent train derailment, which was about an hour and a half from my house in Ohio. But anyway, this pizza is messed up. I'm sitting here thinking, what am I going to do? Okay, I could have folded over and did like a stromboli. But here I get a pizza screen and I'm going to slide it onto the screen and off the peel. And boom, boom, boom. Look, at some more damage done to this pie. At this point, I think it's a, it's a wreck. My wife is monitoring the camera. She's like, oh no, what are you going to do now? And she said, well, basically you can use it almost like a training video. Show them how you handle mistakes, how you recover from mistakes. And so, imitating my, my best Neapolitan pizziola, I'm sitting there stretching the dough, making it a little bit larger. See that little piece of pepperoni and bacon? Well, they're not getting covered up, so they're going to be on top. And so when I get this thing right, it's going to go in a 550 degree oven that's been preheating for about an hour, going up on a pizza steel. It's going to bake it for about six minutes. After a few minutes, I take it off the screen and just put it on the steel. And this is what we got. This is a beautiful shot. My wife, Wendy's working the video here. I just love that shot. She's got a good eye when it comes to a camera. And that's handheld right there. She's got a steady hand as well. But look, what I thought was a train wreck turned out to be a pretty good pie. And now we'll see if it flops. Let me get grab a slice. No flop. It tastes pretty good. I would have preferred mozzarella. But oh well, there's your tomato pie. Thanks for watching.